Hi guys, this is Beth. I'm here to just show a short uh, uh, video on how I made some really simple and really easy resin and polymer clay earrings and uh, a couple of necklaces. I shared this on the group I'm in on Facebook, The Clay Boutique, and um, I told them about a week ago I would make a video and we had a storm come through and I lost my power and, and we were without power for about uh, four days and it came on yesterday um, and so I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Um, I, they're going to be really surprised when they find out just how simple this is. I'm going to show you some of the items. This is uh, a pair of the earrings and uh, I made all these. It took me about 10 minutes to, to make everything that I'm showing you. And I'm gonna just lay them down here and I hope that it's going through. I am still learning how to use this camera to make videos. Um, hopefully one day I'll get better at it. I don't know if you can see this. I don't know if the light's good or not either. If somebody knows how to do this, please let me know. Uh, okay. I'll lift each one of them up. These are just so cute. I really like these, but I like mushrooms. They look retro to me. And I really like these cattails too. Okay. I think I've already showed this, but I'll show them again. And I'll show you about how thick they are. They're pretty thick. I have to use a, a really large junk ring to get through it. Okay. And then this is the necklace that I made. And then last night I made these. And I also made those. And this is all resin. And this I am so happy with. Now this was a little bit more difficult, but it was still not hard. Um, and I love this. This is a mixture of polymer clay and resin. And those little bitty shells and even the little beads, I didn't have any like little beads or so. These shells are polymer clay. They came out of a mold. And then I just used chalk and marker to color them. And these little things are just little clay beads that I used a silver marker on. And I wanted them to look like bubbles. Uh, a lot of people may be saying, oh, those are just air bubbles. But they're not. They were intentional. And they're not air bubbles. They're little beads that I, I sporadically placed and I hope this is coming through because this is such a gorgeous piece right here. And it was not hard to do either. Uh, I'm not going to get into detail tonight about how to do this, but I will uh, at some point uh, show you exactly how I did this because I want to make some earrings to match this. Okay, we're going to get started here. Uh, I think everybody's going to be so shocked when they find out exactly what this is. I want to start out with this. I got these off of Timu. I, I have several of those in all different styles. Uh, there's some more over here. I have the triangle. I have this long. Oh, they're everywhere. I just...
I have the arches, which I really like. I like this one. Uh, and then the teardrop. I just got this one. I've not used this yet, but I think I'm going to have fun with that. I actually want to try to do resin and put little tiny pearls all in there. I think that would be so cool. Uh, but that's another video. Okay, let's get started here. And I've already lost the one that I was going to use. I need the odd one. This is the one that we're going to start out with. Okay. I use J Diction resin. I use both types when I'm doing this. I'll start out with this one. And this is the thinner one. And all I'm going to do, and I'm going to do both at a time. And normally I wear gloves. when I'm doing this. And I think it's important that you do wear gloves. I'm in a really well ventilated area with a fan going. Uh, so with UV resin, I don't wear a mask. I probably should, uh, but I don't. If I was not in such a well ventilated area, I probably would because I'm real sensitive to any kind of smells. Um, and I'm sort of letting this self level. And I see a couple of spots that I'm going to have to use my lighter on to get the bubble out. Maybe that's not a bubble. Maybe there's something in there. And that's another thing you really have to make sure. I've never done this before and it's hard uh, not looking at it directly. But we're going to make this work. And I think all the air, is that a hair? Oh, good gracious, I hope that's not a cat hair. My daughter has a black cat. Oh, and it is. That is Zion. At least I saw it before I put it in. Now I'm seeing all these tiny specks of stuff that I should have gotten off of here before I started this. Oh, and this is one thing that I used to. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yes, it's, it's not been used uh, for what it normally is used for. But sometimes, and this works really well with alcohol ink, but sometimes if you have, it works really well of getting it out of there. And I did not fill these up all the way. I think I probably put more in this one. And I think it's just the way the light's hitting it, but it's making me think that there's something in there. Okay, we're gonna go for it. And I'm gonna put it up underneath. the lamp for a minute and while that is up underneath the light we're going to go ahead and I'm going to do a really large piece also and I'm going to use this right here and 
before I get started, I'm going to get some scotch tape. And this is how I clean it out. Make sure there's nothing. inside the mold. I think that's probably good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this too. And this is all UV resin. I know a lot of people use the epoxy and the other I just I don't I'm a I'm really a, a polymer clay girl uh, this resin is new to me it's infatuated me because it's opened up another side of creativity for me uh, and it's something that I've really never done before so I'm enjoying it And you would think it would cause more air, but it actually does not. It helps pop a lot of those bubbles. Those bubbles are not popping. And that's going to drive me insane right there. Maybe that's not bubbles. Maybe it's... But you saw me take the tape and clean this out. But I think that is something. Now well, this is going to take a little bit longer. But we have to wait on the other anyway, so. And I hope you're not getting bored already. This is the true process. I don't edit my videos. Uh, of course, you can always fast forward. And this is the very first video I've ever done where I'm actually showing you while I'm actually doing it. Uh, that looks pretty clear to me. Let me hold it up to the light. Mm. No. There's stuff floating in there. I did not clean it out good. And this is what happens when you don't. I'm going to hold this up. Oh. You may not be able to see this, but there's little specks. Of something in there. Which is gonna drive me insane. So what I'm gonna do Instead of having it clear, uh, this is not the norm, okay? Uh, I, I wouldn't suggest you do this, but this is going to drive me nuts seeing stuff in there. So I'm going to take this, and no, normally, this is not how you mix it up. But I am trying <laughs> to salvage... And so I'm doing it this way. And I was not planning on having glitter in this. But since I had all those little things floating around in here. This is one way 
of correcting that problem. And I'm using a flat mold. So I'm actually working where this part right here is going to be the front of the piece. Uh, normally, if you've got like a domed piece, um, the back side is going to be your front and this is going to be your back, but this is totally the opposite. Uh, it's actually, as you see it, this will be the front of the, the pendant when I am done. Okay, let me look at this real quick. In the light, oh, that looks, okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, let me get these out. Good enough. And I'll put that back up underneath the light. I just want to make sure. I'm going to rub a little bit of alcohol right there. Yes, I've done this quite a bit, actually. It tends to help if there's any little pieces set, sitting there. It tends to help remove them before you go on to the next step. drawing it off okay and now this is the big reveal <laughs> it is so simple I use these I use stickers that's what that those earrings it was just a, a pack of stickers. I, I got, I think, a bundle of them, uh, and I paid $1.29 at a yard sale. Uh, of course, I don't have to throw anything away. I, I think I got them two years ago, and I thought, oh, I don't know what I'd use those for. And then I saw those, and I know I can't get it off of here. Yeah, my nails are horrible. I need to take them off and redo them. I've had them on and some of them are actually splitting in two. I've had them on for so long. I used to go and have my nails done, but I can do it so cheap myself with the press on nails. That's what I do now. Okay. And I'm going to just press that right in there. And I do. I really push it down. And I always try to get them going the same way. Uh, oh, see, I almost did it. I almost put them upside down. Oh, no, that's right. Right? Yeah. The purple's on the bottom.
Okay. And then at this point, you could probably add glitter and stuff too if you wanted to. Uh, but I like the clean, clear look. Yes, I'm adding more alcohol. So it's removing any grease or oil from my fingertips. Oh, and I did a big no-no. A big no-no. You see this? I left it sitting on my table with the UV light going. Oh, I don't know if you've seen what happens when you do that. But it can start getting thick and hard in the bottle. And yes, even with it being in a black bottle, it does not protect it. So don't do as I do, do as I say. <laughs> oh. I've wasted so much product learning how to do stuff. Just filled it in. I don't think I overfilled this one. Maybe not. Sometimes these molds are not perfectly straight. And of course, I know my table's not perfectly straight. See, I did it again. I left that resin just sitting there. Okay, it's going down in my drawer now. Yeah, I got those bubbles. One day I'm going to do that. My hair is going to be hanging down. I'm going to catch my hair on fire. I actually did that once. I was cooking. Had my hair up in a ponytail. I wasn't paying attention to what I was doing. and My hair caught fire because it touched the eye of the stove. It's only happened to me once in my life. Hopefully it'll never happen again. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in there. And that looks really good. But what I'm going to do before I do anything else, I have another UV light. And I'm going to pop it in there and I'm going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to pop it in there and do the back for a couple of minutes. And then we'll start on another one. We're going to do a total of three, I believe. Actually, you probably shouldn't be doing this with that UV lamp going so close to you either at the same time. But I don't follow the rules. I do my own thing. But I, w I don't want to tell y'all to do the wrong thing. If I mess up, it's, it's me. But I don't want to make anybody else have to start all over. So the best practice is not to have your lamp going while you're doing this. And yes, you can 
you can burn this too. I got it too close and uh, there's a film that came up on the, the resin. Actually, I was able to salvage it, but uh, it can happen. Not quite yet. We're going to go ahead and stick this in. Because I think that. Is good enough. Well I hope y'all are having a great day. Uh. I know most people just fast forward through this, but I don't edit. Um, I sort of just like keeping it real. And uh, uh, I understand if you fast forward through it, I probably would too, to be quite honest. Uh, I'm known to, to do that. I'll, I love watching YouTube videos. Uh, but if it's something I think is boring, I'll just fast forward till uh, it gets uh, interesting again. Okay, this shut off. So let's see if we can't get this one going. Okay, here we go. Let's hope it's not sticky on the back because I have pulled things out where they're sticky on the back before. Oh, no. This one? This one's good. Okay. Oh, but I shouldn't have pulled it out. See? I have already done a big boo on this. And I don't think I can put it back in there. Let's see. Let's see if this will fit back in there. See, I should not have pulled it out of the mold. Well. <laughs> Let's see if I can salvage this. This one's been giving me grief. This is the one that had the specks in it. And I had to put them. Okay, well, let's just try it this way. We're going to try it this way. And we'll see if I can't get it domed up there. With it not being in the mold. This is what I'm putting in. This is another sticker. And I'm just going to place it as close to the edge as possible. And let's see how this works. Oh, this may have been beneficial being out of the mold. Actually. Because it allows me to cut the excess off. Now there's a lip on this, which will come in handy when I start doming this. Let's see, do I have room to put that butterfly? I really wanted to add that butterfly. I don't think there's going to be room, though. Yes, there is. I love butterflies. I may not be able to get this thing off, though, because it's so tiny. And if I don't get the film off, then it will come off when the resin goes in and it will separate and it will make a big mess. I know because uh, when I first did this I learned by mistakes and I make a lot of them. Um, and when I first did this I didn't realize that 
there's a sticky back. And this is not coming off, so I may just leave this butterfly alone. I told y'all this was easy peasy, and for those stickers that I used, it was because those stickers just popped right off of there. But these stickers are not popping off that easy. They're not popping off at all. Okay, I got it off. Yay! That's not what I want. Well, when you get it down there, too, it's hard to, to move it. I love irises. It's always been one of my favorite flowers. Okay, it's on there. I got that butterfly on there. I'm flipping these over while I'm working on that. Okay. We're going to go ahead and put more of this type on here right now because I made the mistake by taking it out of the mold too soon. Of course, any mistake I make, I'm going to make it on my videos. That's the way it works for me. And that's okay. It just... That's how things roll. And I'm just trying to cover this up and get a level. I'm not doming it right now. I'm just trying to get it level and covered a little bit. I will be doming it with... Uh, another type of UV resin which is thicker and works really well for doming and normally I would have my um, Cricut sticky board out here doing this but normally if it's just one I'm dealing with I just don't bother bringing it out but that works really well. I get the Cricut uh, sticky boards and cut them down and use them to stick stuff down when I'm using resin. Normally it's polymer clay that I do that with. I got it up to all the edges. I'm going to have to re-drill that hole, but that's okay too. There's not much you can't fix. So when you're doing this and if you make a mistake, just keep going. That's how you learn. And uh, sometimes I've made the some of my most favorite items from making mistakes. So, there's always some type of positivity out of any negative that you will experience if you'll just stop long enough to look at it a little bit closer. Okay. I'm going to pop it right there. And I'm going to set that there while I bring these two out. And that's going up underneath the lamp. 
I turned these upside down is what I did. I think these are ready to come out. Oh, they're so pretty. And simple. And what I do is, I don't like that sticky feeling of resin when it comes out. And so I take alcohol and I use 91% rubbing alcohol. And I just take that and I wipe all the pieces down as soon as it comes out of the, uh, the mold. Stick that back up underneath there for a minute. That's what the back looks like. The edges are pretty smooth, so I don't have to worry about that. There's an air bubble on that. Okay, and now I'm going to dome these. And to dome those, I'm going to use this. And I'm going to pop them on here. I'm almost out of this jar. And this is almost empty right here. This is a lot thicker. Just making sure it goes all the way out to the edges and try not to get it in the, the hole because if it goes down that hole you're gonna have a big old wad of it on the back side of your piece yes I know this because again I've made that mistake these back in very carefully okay and then we have this and once again I'm going to take my alcohol Somebody may say, oh, you shouldn't do that. And maybe you shouldn't, but it works for me, so. I say what works for you is the way that you need to do it. Okay. These are more stickers. These came off the feather ones. And yes, my daughter got these out for me before I ever started in the video and I'm so glad because it took me forever to get 
those other ones. Oh no, I just broke that. Okay, let's see if we can salvage it. I'm telling you, everything that could go wrong has is going wrong on this video. You know, I don't like that emptiness over there. I've got to find something to fill up there. And I don't know. Ooh, maybe some of these shiny things. I don't know. Are they going to seem shiny though once you get in there, or is it going to just be? Of course, they're going to move all over the place. Okay, let's see here. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't even know if I'm going to like that or not. Can you even see it? Do I have my head in the way? Okay, I lost it. Where'd it go? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, we're going to go with it. Okay, I'm back to the the low on this. The only time I use the high is when I'm doming. Oh, I got a big old bubble there. Hey there, Luna girl. My big old Great Pyrenees is right here. I think she's wanting outside. Hey there. Give me just a minute, sweet girl, and I'll let you out. Oh, I lost them. Oh, nope. There they were. They look like little bubbles in there now. Oh, well. It is what it is. It's going to stay that way. It's going to look like air bubbles in there. That's what it's going to look like. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put them in, and we're going to take the other one out. And that's it. That is so pretty. 
uh, but it's still a little sticky. So I'm going to stick it in there also. Uh, we should have more though. Okay. I'm going to take these. Those are so pretty. And those are easy. Those stickers are, I'm just cleaning my little work area off. I have to poke a hole. Oh no, still there. Oh, that's cool, see? it's It did not fill the hole in. So I'm happy about that. I still feel that stickiness though. are smooth though. That dome, that, that J. Diction, uh, that dome so nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a really nice dome on it. And these are just simple, okay? There's really nothing to them. But it's just a really quick way of, of making a pair of earrings. Um, uh, I don't think these are going to be big enough, but we'll try them. But because the resin's so thick, it takes a huge. I'm looking for my pliers. It takes a huge jump ring to go through. But we'll try these. But I don't. I don't think these are going to work. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, it did. Did you see that? It just went straight through there. Okay. And I tend to go towards silver more so because that's what I prefer. Uh, I have had people request, see how my thumbnail split? Uh, I've had uh, people request gold and of course I'll do gold. I just tend to uh, do silver more than anything else. Okay. Boy, that's the easiest one to ever fit in there before. Let's see, 
I don't have any beads out here. Let's put those to the side for a minute. Let's check those. Okay, that's good enough to dome. Okay, I'm going to dome this. I'm going to turn that off for right now. I'm going to dome this. And this is getting low. I may have to change out and get a new bottle. This is almost therapeutic for me. The way the resin just sort of slowly levels itself out. This one I'm definitely gonna have to redrill the hole. I sure hope you can't hear me breathing. <laughs> Which, if you can, I apologize. But, of course, you can. You know, we all have choices. If it bothers you, I, I guess you can just fast forward. But I'm doing this uh, for the ones that want to see it. So, I don't want to do anything that would agitate people watching it either. That looks good to me. Of course, I'm not looking at it at the same angle I normally would be looking at it. Um going to look back on this very first instructional video a few minutes from now and I'm probably going to be cringing going oh no <laughs> okay oh I think that's so pretty though I should have done this before Okay, let's stick that in there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Once again, I'm wiping off my work area. So my hands. We're almost at the end of this video, I think. Let me see if I can find some small little jump rings and beads to finish that pair mm. off. did not prepare good enough. Actually, I did this in a hurry because mm, I don't know if I like them. For, I like them, but I don't know if I like them for those. Yeah, 
No. No. Okay. Those are pretty, but that's not, that's not what I'm wanting either. Oh, uh, those are little. My daughter has forgotten that I'm doing a video and she's talking now. Uh, let's try this. I haven't found anything I really like. Let's see. Oh, uh, maybe these. Look at these little round ones. With a bead? Hmm. Maybe those. We'll try those. Have the little hearts? No. We'll try those. And the jump rings. Maybe the jump rings. Should we put a bead? Okay, I'm looking at the beads. those okay well, we're waiting on that to get good and dry we'll do this I hope you can see this all I'm doing is putting a little bead in there. It's definitely a learning curve doing this at a different angle. Okay. And I'm basically just going to be easier for me to undo this than it is to undo that small little
And then, I don't know, do these open? Some of them open, some of them don't. I'm going to break this trying to find out, huh? Oh, no, it does. Okay, cool. It did not open enough, though. I don't know if y'all can see this or not. And I can't get... Oh, it broke. Okay, yeah, no. That's not a good idea. Okay, <laughs> okay we'll go with this one. Only because I don't want to have to stop and... No, I don't want to do that. I don't like those. Okay. Okay, let's open. Let's just open this. It would be easier to open this than to break another one. So we'll just get this one open. And then hopefully we'll be able to finish this. And you can stop watching this video. I think my husband just got home. Say hi, honey. Nope, he's not going to say hi. He wants nothing to do with YouTube. Oh, see, I'm struggling here. Because I'm trying to do it at a different angle. So y'all can see what I'm doing. But if I can't do it. Did I get it? Yes, I don't like that. Nope, I don't like that at all. I mean, I like the bead, and I like the earring. I just don't, I don't like this. But you can see what uh, I did and how to do it. You can add your own uh, findings to it. Um, but it's, it's just that simple. It's just filling the mold halfway up and um, uh, putting your sticker or even washi tape would work. Uh, anything like that would work. And then uh, you can you can decorate it if you want to. You can add glitter. You can you can do it the way that you want it done. And see, I told you about the see. I told you if, if you filled the hole, you would have a mess on the back. And I do. I have a mess on the back. Everything pretty much I've done. if I'm going to show this video or not, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'm all about keeping it real. That's for sure, but I don't know. This may be too real. 
This may be so real, people will say, my gosh, she doesn't know what she's doing. Somebody please help her. And I'll honestly, I do know what I'm doing. Uh, but I definitely make mistakes all the time. Alcohol. I hope you can see this. Well, I really wish you didn't have to see this, to be quite honest with you. But uh, since you did, I want you to be able to see all of it. I'm just trying to scrape off the excess. it will come off. As you can see, it takes a while. But just do a little bit at a time. Because I've tried it both ways. I've tried to, to get it all off of there at once. And I end up with a big O hole in my piece. And you don't want that. And I think I got all the excess off now. Now, there's one little area right there. You can feel it. Now, if I had gloves on, there's no way I could feel this. But I still think you should wear gloves. It hasn't bothered me yet, but that doesn't mean that it won't. I'm highly sensitive to a lot of things. And smell is another one. Uh, smells. And, and I'm thankful that this resin does not have a high odor because I probably couldn't use it if it did and I have used some really smelly ones before and, and had to stop because of it this is the one I took out of the mold too soon so And it's amazing that it uh, has turned out as well as it has. It's not as domed as I would like it. I wanted it rounded. So I think I'm going to round this up again. I really like the irises. They are so pretty. And I like the glitter in the background, actually. Uh, I think it complements the gold outline. So, see, that mistake turned out to be a good thing. I'm looking at the side to see.
back up underneath. We're gonna take those out. goes a long way actually there. These are pretty. Simple. But simple can be very pretty. There's some days that I like really neutral, simple. And then there's other days that I want odd, colorful. boho -y. With everything but the kitchen sink through in it. Depending on my mood for that day, my taste change. You know, there's a little bubble right there and that's where I stuck those things at that you can't even see anymore. So I'm gonna find something to stick in there. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Ooh, maybe that. Maybe just a sprinkle. This could be a mistake. But it could be a good thing too. So let's just try. Oh, I don't want that hair. You know, I don't like the color now that I got it down there. It's too green. Okay. I wish I had a purple. It was too blue. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. We sort of mix that. I'm all about trying weird things. And my crafts. That's too purple. I need more blue.
Oh my. This thing's stuck. Have you ever opened one of these and it just all went everywhere? Oh, I have. Yes, welcome to my world. Oh, okay. That was what it needed. I use these little micro brushes a lot. These little things right here. Oh. saying much. I tend not to uh, talk at all when I'm doing this. Well, I mean, who would I talk to? I would be talking to myself. But Just made a big old mess of this. I bet I did. And it's okay. One thing I have learned though. I may not like something at all, and somebody else would love it. And things that I love, other people don't like at all. So, I learned really early on not to judge anything, because its beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder. That's going to be good enough. Oh, I really like that. I'm going to stick those on there. I'll put those back in. We're going to clean up my mess again. little vacuum cleaners it's supposed to vacuum up glitter I don't think I've ever used it figure out what I'm gonna have to figure out something else maybe just a, a, a little bitty tiny well, it came off of there anyway why why did that come off of there oh that's not okay that's why OK, 
Okay, now it's shut. Okay, cool. Uh, no, I don't like that. I'm going to open it up and redo it while I'm waiting. either. Hmm. I don't know. And why is that doing that? Why does it look like that? It's got a lot of air bubbles in it. It's got a couple anyway. Oh, that's glitter. <laughs> yeah, that's why you should clean your molds out really good. Now that's glitter on the inside of that. Okay, there's this. I don't know if you can see it. It's actually quite pretty. You cannot see where the hole was supposed to be at all. It'll be right there. There's one little place. There. Sit down. And that's more domed now. And that's just a smooth. And I'm going to make that into a pendant. And I will probably keep that because I really like irises and, and butterflies. And I don't have any jewelry that's got either one of them like that on there. Um, and this is just from a sticker. Just a simple little sticker. And I know you probably, after watching this, think, wow. It's not easy peasy, but with, if you've got the sticker and you can get it off good. And it really is simple. And this video is way too long. But, okay, I'm going to stop the video here, I think. I don't know, I sort of like those. I sort of like that. Can you see that? Yeah, I sort of do like that. They need to be domed. But, yeah. I do like the the glitter in there. And I'm uh I'm not gonna keep you on this video any longer. I'm gonna go ahead and dome these and I'm gonna make them into earrings. Uh and when I get done with all this then I will post a video. No, I will post a, a picture on my YouTube channel. Uh, so y'all can see the finished product. Hopefully I'll find uh, something that I'm going to like better with these. Uh, but I will show you the finished results of all of them when, when I get them done. 
I hope you have learned something uh, from this video, if nothing more than what not to do. <laughs> um, then that will be beneficial too. Thank you for staying with me this long. And I hope you come back and watch my next one. Uh, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.